there's, a, there's the elephant in the room, right? Is when we talk about capture of institutions, when we talk about businesses, when we talk about the media, the elephant in the room is that 90% of India, OBCs, Dalits, Adivasis, they don't play the game. They're not even in the game. Right? And that's really the elephant in the room. So the caste cens census is a simple exercise. And actually, it's more than the caste census. Caste census is one of three ideas. It's a simple exercise to say, OK, we've been, uh, you know, we got independence in 1947. We've been going for a while now. Let's see how have the lower castes, backward castes, Dalits, how have they integrated into this system? What is it actually that they're participating in? And frankly, we've got the data. You know, we've, we've done our homework, we've got the data. And I can tell you, out of the top 200 businesses in India, right, there's almost no ownership of 90% of the population. I can tell you that in the highest courts of the country, there's almost no participation of 90% of India. I can tell you uh, that in the media, national media, anchors, journalists, there is zero participation of lower caste, OBCs, Dalits, Adivasis. Right? So, and, and the people know this. It's not that this is, this is not known. The large mass of people understand this. And they look, look at India and they say, OK, where is our participation? And the idea of the caste census is simple. It is, there is no, we've not made any, we've not taken any policy position. We're just saying, look, we want to understand. We want a snapshot to understand where we at. What is the participation level of lower caste, Dalits, OBCs, poor general castes, right? And that's really the caste census. Now, there are two other components, which we've also said, but have not really, uh, been put out that much. One is the idea of a socio-economic survey. So we want to not only understand how many Dalits there are, how many OBCs there are, but we want to understand what their social position looks like, what their financial position looks like, what their economic position looks like. And the third component, which I think is very important, is we also want to understand. We want to take a look at Indian, India's institutions. We want to look at the media. We want to look at healthcare. We want to look at uh, education, the owners, the, the structures that, that deliver these services. And we want to get a sense of what is India's participation in, in these institutions. So these are an institutional survey, a socioeconomic survey, and a census. Is there any reason why you wouldn't expand that to include the role of Muslims in modern They are included in that. It's so not just Muslims. in the OBC It's minorities. minorities. No, 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 it's everybody. Muslims. It's okay. even, look, even if you look at the general caste, you will find that there is a huge divide between poor general castes and well-off general castes, right? And that's the same for minorities, it's the same for Adivasis, it's the same for OBCs, it's the same for Dalits. I mean, the... the Indian Khabar, Sach Aapke Samne.